Nice what would you do if I told you that that was the MIDI? I would be very surprised. So that was actually the software. Oh, how dramatic. Recently, Sam, our in-house producer, was playing with a free trial of Easy Bass by a tune track and fooled me into thinking it was a real bass player. Didn't fool me though, but because it's software and Mark is... Old, stupid and a moron. I reached out to ToonTrack to see if they could send us a version to review. There are plenty of tutorial style videos out there and there are a lot of performance features in the software that we won't cover in this video. So head over to ToonTrack's YouTube channel and check out some of their videos for the full lowdown. But we wanted to put it head to head with a real human bass player. So let's hand over to Sam up here for a quick explanation of what he did for this video. The following segment was Sam's first piece to camera for our channel and was intended as merely a voiceover to accompany a screen capture of the Easy Bass plugin. But we didn't tell him this, instead we tried to make him as uncomfortable as possible by surrounding him with a wholly unnecessary amount of lighting and giggling like children in the background to everything he said that could be construed as a rude word. In the edit we thought this was more entertaining than a screenshot of the plugin, so we apologised profusely to both our viewers for the silliness and to Easy Bass for such an unprofessional and amateur review. I've used Easy Bass to try and replicate an existing bass part played by James Higginson, note for note. I've been amazed at the level of detail you can go into with the software, replicating slapped parts, slides, ghost notes, thumps and farts, hammer-ons and pull-offs, and you can even determine which virtual fingers you're playing with. <laughs> there are numerous options for sliding into and out of notes, although getting a convincing vibrato can be a little tricky. But overall, I've been really impressed with the level of tweakability in the plugin. Who wrote this? Here's James Higginson listening to what he thinks is his original performance and his subsequent analysis thereof. Dirt still on my fingertips, deeper and deeper. I could learn to live with this. I'm a believer. Make my friends uncomfortable. It's so much sweeter to keep it all together. I should have known better. I can't stop fixing all the flaws you've got. I mean, that's a bit of it. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it works, doesn't it? It it sits in the mix nice. It's it's not too complex, but yeah. Um, yeah, I think it works with what everyone else is doing. And what do you think of the sound of it in the mix? And yeah, I mean it's nice. It's a nice sort of fat round tone, but it's not too, um, it's not sort of too in your face. In my face. Yeah. But yeah. So that was actually the software. Really? That was the software playing there. That wasn't you. I'm gonna put you in now. <laughs> Dirt still on my fingertips, deeper and deeper. I could learn to live with this. I'm a believer. Make my friends uncomfortable. It's so much sweeter to keep it all together. I should have known better. I can't stop fixing all the flaws you've got. Thoughts? I don't know. It's tough. That's, that's throwing me a little bit. All right. Let me let me show you another bit, which is definitely James Higginson and nothing else. God. That's not me. Okay. So then. A million percent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's very convincing in the mix. Yeah. But any as soon as it's isolated, it it does. So if if you listen to the way you play this fill here, and there's there's something about the way you play. Can you can you play it actually? This bit here. Oh. So it's the way you do your vibrato. Yeah. I was right when we were talking about it earlier. It's yeah. the wiggle. It's the way yeah. you wiggle on your vibrato. You can't um, replicate in that software at all. Yeah. So the other thing that I've kind of really sort of learned from using this is listen to this in isolation. Yeah. 
any sort of particular thoughts or insights into uh, the sound of that? Um, well, I mean, yeah, it, it, it sounds too clean and tidy, doesn't it? Exactly my thoughts. Then we listen to you. Don't even need to listen to it anymore. You can hear the dirt. Filthy dirty. The reason we managed to fool our bass player into thinking that Easy Bass was him was because I copied his part note for note, including ghost notes, small percussive taps, slides, and more, all in order to match his original performance as closely as possible. Basically, <laughs> it is him. Sonically, we can fake a bass player, replace a bass player, and fool a bass player. I guess we don't need a bass player? Uh, yes, maybe we do, because whilst Easy Bass is sonically excellent, and as we've seen, can fool me, and can fool the bass player, and can fool James... I saw the MIDI in the project. There are some things it can't do, so let's dig a little deeper. Now James is listening through to a demonstration song that Sam has written with the aid of a clavier-based input device connected to a binary processor, often referred to as a computer. The bass line that Sam had in mind for the piece is currently muted. I could close my eyes. So I'd say rather than adding bass to that, it'd probably be better off just deleting the piano, drums and vocals. <laughs> well, I'm getting, you, right. getting you to sing it. In my face. Now James will play along, having only been subjected to one listen through of this musical form. I'm scared of living in a world when no one listens, so I prepared a little hole where I can fit my head in and keep the sound of a sound. And now James will portray his interpretation of Sam's original idea for a baseline. I'm scared of living in a world when no one listens. So I'm scared of living in a world when no one listens. So Why do I need you? Exactly. <laughs> well, in all seriousness, the reason I need you is because now I can hear the track in a different way. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, I'll save that for later on in the track. So to answer the question on the thumbnail to this video, can we fire our bass player? My answer would be no. Easy Bass is an incredible piece of software for adding entirely convincing bass parts to your compositions, assuming you put in the time to learn how to use it and get all those little inflections in. And I mean, it's really incredible sounding and whilst it can give you inspiration a good starting point or even a finished part in the form of the included groove library it isn't a bass player and it can't do what a really good bass player can do come up with something you might not have thought of that really enhances the song and adds all those little elements of a performance that you can only really get from a different human being dedicated to their instrument and if you want your bass to sound this real then you're probably working in a genre of music that features a lot of other real instruments as well and to my mind the extra emotion feeling and performance you get from using really good musicians is what makes a really good song come to life so this software is excellent really excellent and i'll happily ask sam to use this when we're putting demos together for clients but it did take sam three to four hours to get that 30 second section that fooled our bass player good enough to fool him and at the end of the day it only fooled him because he duplicated his performance. Impressive for a piece of software and just as impressive as a showcase for Sam's editing skills. But my first choice for bass is still and will probably always be a really good bass player. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, hit other things, hit me if you want. Uh, ding the ding dong and you'll see us in the next video. Sweeter to keep it all together I should have known better I can't stop Fixing all the flaws You've got I can't stop Pretending that it's me On